Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. What is going on for Scorpio this week? We have the Ace of Swords. So when I'm shuffling off camera for you, I got not over it. Just not, not over it. Ace of Swords. So you're seeing the truth of the matter here. Without all the distraction, you can um, make some real change here. Some irrevocable change. Maybe to deal with something. You see, maybe the truth is coming out. Or maybe you're speaking the truth here. To where... You know, it was in, inevitable that you were going to have to come to this determination. What is this about? The hangman, maybe letting go of a relationship from the past, a secret relationship, a um, sex only connection, um, maybe a past relationship, seeing something differently, page of swords, um, pettiness, argumentative, yeah, argumentative um, drama, uh, being the subject of gossip or gossiping. The King of Cups could be about a husband or someone who was your husband or is your husband. Eight of Cups walking away. Trying to make sense of something. Self-analysis. This is how you let it go. You analyze self. You kind of walk away in secrecy. You finish something up and then move on. This is, this is how you feel. You feel like you want to finish something up and then move on. I, don't, I heard paperwork. I don't know if there's paperwork or there's court documentation. Or there's something that you have to do. Finish something up and then move on. What is this about? The page of cups. Something with a child, younger person, the emperor, the father of the, ch the children or child. It's like you want to, some of you want the children to get older so you don't have to deal with the father of your children, the ex-husband or husband, baby daddy, boyfriend, something like that. Some of you are just really, um, you're hanging in there. Scorpio male, this could be you. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with anybody here. It's like maybe some, some relationship is hanging in there. It's holding on because of a child or children. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, it could be very toxic. Uh, unhealthy. Burdensome. You don't know where the relationship is going. Both of you are taking each other for granted. And you just keep showing up to the connection. Kind of on autopilot here. King of Wands trying to get what you want. Trying to see the bigger picture. Like let's just take care of the children. Seven of Pentacles, even though there's a level of unhappiness, a lack of something maturing or changing, growth. Someone could even be pregnant. I heard, I hope not. Lord. The Knight of Swords. There's still somebody who needs to grow up, learn. Um, there's someone who's still... Again, argumentative, confrontational with the Knight of Swords. Someone's always trying to persuade. Yeah, persuade the other person to see things their way. Two of Wands. Persuade them to make a decision in their favor. The Tower card could be you, Scorpio. There's always argument when meeting up or seeing each other or traveling to one another. There's tough words. What is this about? Not over it was the was the message. The strength card. Other persons. Somebody could be pregnant. Other persons. Um, money. What they're going to do with their future. Taking the lead here. Eight of Wands. Things moving real fast. Having some conversation where it concludes or some conclusion is had. Four of Pentacles. Someone's concerned about their. Ch okay, so this is an energy where there's more than one, you know, baby's mother, ex-wife, something of that nature. Somebody, or wife, and ex-wife. Someone is concerned about their child. You know, money for their child. What about the connection with our child? Or what is this about? Yeah, false person. Somebody wants to know what this could be you, Scorpio. What's going on? 
you know, someone's gossiping or someone's acting like they care when they really don't. Somebody is not over it. Someone's in a mental prison, physical prison, stuck somewhere, can't get out, overthinking something. What they're manifesting is, or that they're trying to manifest is maybe this masculine energy to travel towards them or come towards them. Somebody's deep in, sinking into a deep depression. Somebody's completely occupied with this wealthy man or this man or this masculine energy in their relationship or who they're in a relationship with could be an older woman I told you two women here with the main female mature woman main female so it's like there's somebody there could have been her end of a relationship ex-wife and now she's like spying won't let it go can't let it go not over it still dramatic still argumentative it's just drama all together um somebody needs to deal with the fact that they're not over the hurt not over the pain not over the shame the embarrassment somebody's concerned about their children if there are other children outside of that connection they don't care about the other child or other children this is argument about meeting up or meeting with or when i see you is always argument this is what i have for you scorpio if it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you some of you are staying together for the children you're just making sense of it seeing a bigger picture that it's just best to stay for the kids if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.